In this tutorial, I'll show you just how quick and easy it is to create a new project from scratch. Today, we'll make a thank you card. To begin, select the blank project option from the startup wizard. On the left, I'll choose a blank project. Select a page size from the middle section and click OK. I've selected A5 folded as it will fit onto an A4 page when it's printed. Items that can be used in my project can be found in the Digikit browser. Craft Artist 2 Professional comes with the fantastic Daydream Digikit, so I'm going to use that to design my card. To add a single item to the Project tab, just click it or add a whole category by clicking Add All Items. You can add the whole Digikit by clicking Add Digikit. You can come back to the Digikit browser to add more content at any time. All of the content is displayed in the Content tabs. Let's now add a background. I'll drag my chosen background from the tab and drop it onto the page. It automatically resizes to fit. Next, I'll add some embellishments from the Embellishments tab. I like these ones, so I'll resize them and then drag them into position. You can add any phrase to your project using the Letters tab. As this card's going to thank my grandma, I'll type thanks into this box and click Insert. I can then group the letters together using the Group button and drag them into place using the Move button. I'd like to add some more decoration to the card, so I'll select some more embellishments from the tab. Next, we'll add some shadows. This is really easy to do. Just select the item or items you'd like to lift off the page. Choose the Shadow tool and click once to add the shadow. You can also drag away from your item to create a greater shadow. Adjust the effect of the shadow using these control points. Now, let's edit the inside of the card. First, I'll expand the Pages tab and click on the inside page. Now I can add an embellishment and position it in the centre of the page. Craft Artist includes lots of pre-written sentiments. These can be accessed by clicking the Insert Sentiment button. You just need to choose the occasion from the tab on the left. Select a sentiment and click Insert. To position the sentiment, I'll place my cursor and then click and drag. On release, the sentiment appears in the box and I can move it until it is positioned correctly. Standard text can also be used in Craft Artist by clicking the text button on the standard toolbar. To use it, just click where you want the text to start and then type your message. You can type whatever you like and even use both sides of the page if you want to. You can change the style of the text using the context toolbar. Just select the text with the select tool and change the formatting to make it fit your design. The colour of the text can be changed on the colour tab. You can either select a swatch or change the colour on the colour wheel. The Format Painter tool allows you to copy the format from one item to another. Just select the item which has the style you want to copy, click the Format Painter tool and then click the item you want to change. When you want to save your project, just click Save. And when you're ready to print, click File and then Print. We hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. Check out our other videos on YouTube.